I finally let Will out of cryostasis. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that. Do you ever play that game when you're on like road trips where you have to hold your breath and you go through a tunnel? Yep. Yes. It's like that. Whenever I say we're about to go live, <laughs> or you go hold past a breath. graveyard. I've never done what that one, do but that... I don't know that one. Yeah. Hold your breath when you go through tunnels. I didn't. Because yeah, otherwise you'll die. We we'll do it when we're passing graveyards. Weird. Yeah, that makes sense to me because you know, obviously, yeah, otherwise you'll breathe, breathe in. In it. You'll oh, it's like a thing. I was gonna say you'll breathe in a ghost. What? <laughs> 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 Both valid reasons. Uh, They're there gaseous, two... clearly. There are two Go types on. of people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but the exception of that is if you have like an ancestor in that graveyard, then they'll protect you so you can breathe. It's fine. Oh, good. They hold back the other ghosts. <laughs> yeah. The ghosts all coming at you. Let me at them! Let me at them! They're coming at you, they're like, hold me back, hold me back. The real uh, world star uh, situation with the ghosts if you breathe near them. Alright, let's get back to the festivities, shall we? Um, got a what cotton you'll... candy flavored drink, by the way. Which Very... Very appropriate. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I actually have... I I could have done a very similar thing, but instead I'm boring and is having Diet Coke. Something that tastes like Diet Coke. How boring. I have water. What is... I, 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 respect, I respect water better than... <laughs> anyway. Uh, while you're kind of sitting and relaxing and... and uh, uh, Looking around and stuff. Uh, Voss and Torum, can you give me a perception checks? You know, because you're kind of on watch while yes. uh, Yuna's uh, chilling, <laughs> looking at potions. Oh, babies! Oh, that's a critical. Someone's gonna. Oh, baby, that's a critical. That'd be oh, two baby, natural baby, a there, double. Ollie. Yeah. Voss and Torum high five from across the room. <laughs> <laughs> Voss can do. That. He's that tall. Voss and Torum, you both start to notice something. This place was filled with people. Uh, like, not so much that it was uncomfortable to move or anything like that, because people were quite clumped up, but then people started to, you know, rush out and things like that. Um, and you, I, I imagine Voss and Torum actually be the kind of people to do a rough head count of a room. Oh, yeah, and totally. just for the sake of it, you do it again. Um, and while you've seen more people enter the ballroom, just coming in, people coming in fashionably late and stuff like that, never with much fanfare, uh, there's less people in the ballroom now than before. Uh, not by much, but you notice, you know, you, you look around again and you notice a little less. It's just getting a... It's still busy, it's still full of people, but, you know, the corners are a lot more empty and... Both of you notice each other noticing this, you know? You have, a, like, a, a look. Um, but you know, both notice people uh, seemingly going missing. But before you can bring any attention to that, uh, the gnomes uh, come across to the bar from across the room uh, with a... Uh, uh, something on wheels with a sheet. Um, how leading... In the finest red feather gown, uh, would say, uh, Oh, I'm, I'm very pleased to see the lot of you. I have something very exciting to show you. Traitors run two. Reveal <laughs> with the sheet this extravagant, uh, you know, in like movies. Where someone like reveals a game and it's like this could never be a real thing. Yeah. It's one of those. There's like loop de loops and big tall pieces and the cones of Dunshire and dice and it's crazy. Mouse trap. It's a bit of a mouse trap. <laughs> it's it's mouse trap. Yeah, mouse trap is the exception where it looks like it couldn't exist, but it does. And it's also yeah. not as fun as it looks. 
It is not nearly as fun as it. Mousetrap is barely a game. <laughs> Mousetrap is yeah. not a game. Mousetrap is a disaster. Way Mousetrap to is spending like half an hour setting up the board and then playing for ten minutes and getting bored. Traption does not move. Exactly. Um, so the gnomes reveal try to run two. And how and the rest of the gnomes are very happy. I will note of the rest of the gnomes. Uh, Miss Ocelot is absolutely there. The mortician. She, <laughs> I bet, is looking gorgeous as always. Yeah, being outfits. a gnome of a certain age, she is dressed with grace, but still fashion. She has little glasses with wings on the side. Very nice. Mm. Rakath will, will actually approach her and say, Miss Ocelot, I love your outfit. Oh, yours is looking um very festive, Rakath. Well, thank you very much. It's very nice to see you as well. And all of you. It's so wonderful for you all to have <laughs> like you go, all of you, and of course it's gnomes. <laughs> it's just a crowd <laughs> of sweeping all people. Their heads. Yeah. <laughs> all of you. <laughs> uh, there's a you know, a bit of a cheer from the gnomish. Delegates. So, when do we get to play? How would say? Well, we could play right now. I see no better reason, uh, no better friends to play it with than uh, us right now. And this I... is not just a two-person game. This can have up to one hundred players in asymmetrical multiplayer. Wonderful. <laughs> Is there a winner at the end, a final of, say, a, well, a really Battle the, Royale style? The true winner <laughs> is the friendship that we have along the way. Um, of course. That's the tagline. But, yes, there is one true victor. I am so excited. We should all play right now. There's even a reward for the victor. This... Ooh. Mirror of truth. I will not show it to you. Until it is ready. Because it is such a I... powerful magical artifact that we got from the vaults. Love it. I also have a mirror of truth. That's so exciting. <laughs> Let's play. Please give me uh, Traders Run Rolls, everyone who wants to play. Yeah, I'm down for chess yeah, battle royale. <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> it's... I'm so used to cheating. What is this? Oh, I actually am trained in artificial. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're really good at it. Um, uh, what do I... intelligence what do I or roll? charisma, if I remember correctly. Okay. Yeah, just intelligence <laughs> or charisma check. Where are we? Where are we dropping, boys? Your big <laughs> Tor Voss's big fingers are very good at picking up the tiny pieces. <laughs> <laughs> and he also gnomes. neglects his priestesses, uh, which is a classic blunder. Um, <laughs> You've committed the most classic of blunders. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Uh, in very traditional fashion, it is uh, Rakath and Yuna who are the last two in the game. Uh, and this game takes a little bit of time. Not a full hour, though. Um, but what it important but I'm not going to. Okay. <laughs> I know what and, you can do. Don't you uh, dare. Rakath wins in the end, even in Yuna's dream. <laughs> Rakath oh. wins, but it's very close. Yuna, that was a wonderful game. You played like... so elegantly and you maintained your priestesses in such perfect order. <clears throat> I'm so impressed. Yeah, but why did I lose? The dragon. Right there. The Zoom camera right ominously there. zooms in on the dragon oh. piece made of black stone <laughs> compared to the white ivory of everything else. For some reason, you let your guard down around the dragon. Oh. Yeah, I guess I did, didn't I? Hmm. Next time. I'm sure you won't let that happen. <laughs> Are there still, like, people just disappearing from this room? <laughs> yes. 
Uh, noticeably, there's like half the people there were before now. I'm just gonna crouch down to our little table of friends here and just say, this is all very interesting, but does this place not seem much more empty to you than it was a few minutes ago? Indeed, I noticed that too. Um, Ollie does it? You can give me a perception check. I am also going to give a perception check. Oh my goodness, I might actually notice. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> yeah, Yuna doesn't. <laughs> Back at <laughs> When we I... first entered the room, there were approximately 1,367 people in here. Within an hour, <laughs> there is half that number. Now there seem to be only a few hundred. With a quick count, what would you say? Rain Man, like... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't know, Ollie, how many people are left around here? <laughs> I think in true Josiah fashion, there's around 420 people <laughs> in the room. Yeah. Um, Perfect. Was cool Ollie here? I would just watch just look over and say, with a quick with a quick count, approximately four hundred and twenty of them. Powell says, "Resting, nice." <laughs> <laughs> Rackath puts up a, a, a hand for a high five from Hal. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh... He's not as tall as he was before. It might. That's be true. Yeah, I, I know. What's What's more disturbing is I've seen people enter, but I have not seen any leave. Is Tanuma still here, Torum? Yes. Uh, Torum is. Uh, Torum. Tanuma is noticeably going around the room, uh, pricking people with a pin. And people are like, what are you doing? <laughs> she not? I like that. If people are disappearing, why isn't she gone? Because she's paying attention. That's why she's pricking people with a pin to see if they're real. She's noticed too. She was worried earlier about her memories. Keep an eye on the <laughs> Rakath in particular, you do see a sort of shady looking figure uh, get up from a chair and leave behind... Uh, this room has, like, pillars along the sides mm -hmm. uh, and kind of leave into the more shadowy, shady parts. Um, I am going to try and stealth among the crowds and try and go towards them. Please do. Bit. Staying right by Yuna. Oh, Ready to do... They do not notice you. Um, from behind <clears throat> them, you can see quite uh, a dramatic scarring along their back and legs. Um, that is not really hidden by the drow noble fashion. Do I recognize them at all? You do. <laughs> you do. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> Who are they? They are the person you stuck to a chair. <laughs> <laughs> Whoopsies. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> Has returned. <laughs> you follow them for a bit, and when you notice that, uh, they look around and they see you, uh, and they seem a little frustrated. And then you see something very strange, Rakath. Uh, can everyone else give me a perception check as well? At this point, he's on the other side of the ballroom, of course, but, um... But Voss, you see this too. Uh, the guy kind of gets pulled into the shadows and melts away. This happens over a period of like two or three seconds. It's too quick for you to really react because there's that moment of shock. Um, it's not necessarily bloody or gory. They just kind of get pulled away and cease to be. It's not really a scream or anything. There is a muffled noise. Hmm. Uh, this is into the shadows on the wall. Is that correct? In a dark corner. In a dark corner. I'm going to walk back carefully and just guide everyone in the room as much as I can towards the center of the room. Just 
Come along now, into the center of the room. We're going to continue the celebration closer knit. Closer knit, everybody. And I'm going to kind of guide my way around towards Tanuma and uh, and get her to essentially help do the same. Unavara, that person over there, remember when Rakath glued that man to a chair? <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, that was uh, funny. Actually, that's how we found the drugs the first time. Yes, that is, that's true. Anyways, <laughs> they were... <laughs> They were speaking over there, and um, it would seem he was torn into a shadow. Oh. What? Everybody oh, into the right. center That's of the room. Center of the room, into please. Into the wall. <laughs> Guide yourselves away from the <laughs> shadows. Show your light. Come on, into <laughs> the center of the room. Yeah, you can you can corral the people. <laughs> corral the people in, yeah. Just try to bring them into whatever light there is in, in the room. Yeah, I, honest, um, there is a, the light in the room is um, sort of braziers, and there is a brazier in the center of the room uh, with a, an ivory white flame. You is Draco absolutely... still here? Yes. And <laughs> Draco would even like pull you aside, like, Rakath, you're making a scene. Yes. We talked about please, this. Please entertain everybody. There appears to be shadows devouring people. <laughs> well, do I need to prepare? After taking care of such horrible monsters before defending my sweet baby sister, I could happily weave some powerful magic to slay whatever Just in case, is. be cautious, be prepared, but it's most important that you protect everyone here as much as yes, possible. Yes, of course. I'll, I'll protect everyone using my intense charisma. Precisely. I have an idea. We're all drow. Well, many of us are drow. We can just cast light. We can all cast dancing, the dancing light scantrip. So it kind of do. illuminate some of the shadowy corners. That's a good and I idea. will encourage all the drow to show us their beautiful... Yeah! Beautiful the different um, light colors of the society. Please yes! bring them forward. Absolutely. Everyone draws forth the inner uh, light that most usurper elves can uh, ma manifest and muster uh, in a kind of bubble around everyone in the center of the ballroom. Um, that's a really good idea. Uh, <laughs> and you do sort of notice <laughs> We're in pitch that black now. Uh, the uh, corners of the room are getting really dark. Um, like, it, it, it maybe it's because you're casting more light Maybe it's just because you're being aware of it. But the corners of the room are getting really dark. Um, but you have this bubble of light kind of projecting. Not, not a whole lot, but a little bit of light. It's at this point where things are starting to get really dark around where the crowd, which is probably no more than 200 people, maybe less at this point, uh, is noticeably spooked. Uh, there's some people asking questions and things like that. It almost seems like the room is getting smaller. Uh, yeah. hmm. this Does there appear to be a source of this darkness at any point? Give me an arcana check. <clears throat> Ooh, oh boy, alright. <laughs> oh, oh boy! Oh, oh boy. Golly gee willikers, guys! It's 19! It actually, it seems strange, but it does seem like there is something moving around, almost spreading the darkness with it in the very corners of the room, in the very places behind the dark lights. Something hmm. slinking around. Well, this party has been absolutely lovely, but I think we are about to run into danger. And I'm going to just throw a dagger at this thing. Um... Give me an attack roll, please. <laughs> <laughs> As you do that, Torum like raises his arms, and he, if you remember, this is something that he had built in from Tanuma. Uh, plate sort of move back a bit, and crossbow hands <laughs> spring out either side. <laughs> got them ready. Yeah, it's got well, two hand crossbows. That would be a nine, sir. <laughs> you do oh, that, no. and Captain Cato says, "I am glad that I did not choose to make you a captain of the guard." That would have been a very poor choice. If there is a monster in the darkness, and funnily enough, you've never seen real Captain Kato do this, 
but mm. I described that her weapon is a magic rod. She kind of yes. pulls out and smacks it against the ground. It makes like a, a, a sort of resonant sound. Um, and she will shield in other hand, step out towards the darkness. I'm going to direct her to where the creature was moving, slinking. Uh, she and will. I'm actually going to follow as well. She will. Uh, you leave the bubble of dancing lights. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, she carries a bit of light around her as well. Interestingly, her light is a little brighter than everyone else's. Like, not that the light casts more, but the light bubbles so, are brighter. Yeah. Um, I'm. I'm actually going to have my hand on her back with my mm -hmm. sword out. Staying as close to her as possible so I can see shit, basically. As she steps into the darkest part of the corner, uh, she will briefly look back at you, and in very horror movie fashion, a maw will snap out at her, around her head, and kind of pull her half away. You're not strong enough to stop it completely. But it doesn't even seem like the bite, like this creature needs to finish crunching on her. And the mouth is not so huge that it could eat a drow whole. But Kato seems to fade into almost this liquid, smoky shadow in the air. For a few brief moments, Rakath, you see a dragon in the darkness directly in front of you. Its scales are black and glossy. The little bit of dancing light makes uh, blue light reflect into the gloss. It has a thick brow. Horns that go straight back. And it's very slender, mm. very sleek, almost cat-like. Its features are sharp. It's moving very gracefully. And if you give me a second. Do I have time <laughs> to shout back? Yes. Yes. Dragon! <laughs> it begins. Oh, I'm so happy. It's Roll great. initiative! Oh, boss. <laughs> Such a big boy. Yeah. That was oh. pretty good. Le less good, Voss. He's, he's big and slow now. <laughs> Do -dum. What's new? Do -dum. Do -dum. That's my MO. <laughs> yeah, that Both makes sense. As Voss and in real life. Oh, this hasn't worked properly. <laughs> I just, I, I didn't have chat open. They might have said, oh no, you just created a monster for a brief second. Oh well. Making a monster. That's the DM's job. One moment, please. Just need to get up the dragon. There we are. This seems safe. <clears throat> Dupes safe. I feel like I have no D20s at the moment, which really means I need to clean my desk. And I really do. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I do. Uh, this is meant to be a full bag of dice. <laughs> it is not a full bag of dice. I, I can tell you from experience, nothing makes you want to clean your desk more than picking up one of your monitors and looking at what was underneath. Uh, I mean, that's why I'm not going to do that. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I, my other monitor broke, so I had to. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and then I promptly cleaned my desk. <laughs> I find so many dog toys and dice underneath my couch. Like, just <gasps> filled with minis. Why don't yeah, you make playing. the dog toys they're be dice? They're playing in the background. <laughs> it's adorable. I don't know if anyone could see it on stream because they might have been just below the threshold. Yeah, yeah, no. yeah, yeah. Sorry, out. guys. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Okay. Out the other side, you might see the butt. <laughs> you might see the butt. Uh, it's Rakath first, which makes sense. As you see, it's not like the dragon roars at you with anything. It doesn't grin. It doesn't really seem to have any sort of emotion or anything like that. It just kind of looks back at you with eyes that are just this swirling mass of uh, almost a deep blue. Blue and blacks. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> the the lone rogue facing the dragon. Yep. But the thing is, is that Rakath can't see the dragon. Everyone Correct. else can, but Rakath, because Rakath does not have dark vision. Right. I can't. 
<laughs> yeah, Torum. I no also longer have no dark, dark vision. vision. Ah, I'm not alone anymore. You're not the only one anymore, yep. <laughs> uh, in that case, um, I am going to, because I can't see the dragon, uh, start retreating back. Uh, and you know, I'm gonna, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to, uh, cunning action and just dash. This should to, be generating light. So let me do that. To be here. Um, and I'm mostly just going to say, Dragon ate Kato. <sighs> Draco's like, Commander Kato. <laughs> The greatest yes. warrior of all our friends. Yes, yes. Except for maybe you, Draco. Ha ha! I yes! I can't wait for him to fire like a spell and it literally just like plinkle into nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to uh, to draw my, my parrying dagger as well because presumably I have my parrying dagger in Dreamworld. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you don't. You just don't. You just don't have consumables aside from the new ones that Yuna picked up. Correct. Great. Uh, yeah. Okay. What about arrows? Yes. Okay. Cool. Does he have the dagger I've been working on? No. Did I finish that? No. Right. <laughs> nice Good try. effort. It's a nice thought. <laughs> so who gets the the enhanced one? Because I assume we all get one no. of the the potions. You haven't done that yet, and that's something to worry about on user's turns. Torum. Uh, yeah. uh, well, Torum will just pro actually probably set up here and just be uh, readying uh, a sharpshooter shot at the f when he can see it. Yes. Okay. That's what I was going to say as well. I was going to prepare an action to attack if it steps within Yuna's range. Basically, what? Uh, my range. Question. What is this blue circle indicative? That's the dancing. Lights. That is the dancing that's... ice bubble around the survivors. Okay, so that's our like light. Ball. It's our safety net. It's like your safe zone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can't come in here you because. Oh, actually, if that's uh... the case, I might just move to here and not the edge where it can yank me out. <laughs> ah. And it's it's you know it's funny that I mentioned it's the safe zone because there's slinking around in this corner. And this brazier is knocked over, uh, casting oh, more no. uh, darkness. Oh. Uh. Uh, I forgot what it was like to not have dark vision. Uh huh. Oh, I, oh, I saw that. Make I your shots. That. Make your shots. Yes. <laughs> I'm. I'm. My action is prepared for if it comes into range of myself and Yuda. So I'm. I'm not doing anything there. But uh, that is a miss. Then I'm going to uh, use. Sure. And I roll guess there's no reason why you can't do knife. that on a reaction attack. Oh, come on. <laughs> that is a hit. <laughs> 18 AC. We figured it out, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> you, know, you, you go for the shot and it's a, it's, you know, it's a wild overwatch, uh, you know, hip shot from your arm blasters. Um, but it just hits so perfectly between, and remember, dragons and Yarvisky have like thick chunks of armor scales, and then like a finer scale underneath. It just between some of those thick chunks yeah. pierces this creature. Wow! Shot first. Yeah, sharpshooter. <laughs> it's a massive strike that you don't see it because this thing dashes so quickly, but you hear it thump against the back wall and let out this whine of a noise. Then you hear it inhaling. Uh oh. <laughs> oh. And... I made it angry. <laughs> you did. This was, this was gonna happen no matter what. Let's be realistic. Was it gonna happen so soon? Yeah, probably. Oh my uh, god! Interestingly, that, that token. the uh, as it rears around in a corner and inhales, it just unleashes this rolling darkness. It's like a wave. Of just blackness. Interesting. Rakath is not in its range. Uh, everyone but Rakath, please give me a dexterity save. I did it. I moved far enough away, guys. <laughs> proud of you. I'm proud of me too. Uh oh. Oh my god. That all oh, oh, roll twenty is having a hard time. It with did that not one. like that. <laughs> I know. Did like it it did not day. like it at all. But you gotta and do it. You know. Uh, just... Everyone not again. fails. <laughs> Massively. Aside from Rakath. 
Hey, you and I hope you put those potions in a readily you accessible know what? spot. Let's let's just do this one live, shall we? Oh no! Oh god! I hate that more. To be <laughs> yeah, honest. Yeah, that's. Yep. Oh, oh that's here. a lot of dice. Fifty-one. Oh, damage. Fifty-one yeah, necrotic oh. damage. Oh, is that all? Uh, I'm down. Everybody's <laughs> unconscious. Who's I hit? <laughs> just barely survived dying from massive damage. Oh, I. <laughs> Hand that wave. That is the massive terrifying. damage. As that happens, Rakath, you and a few other survivors are on this corner, and you just see everyone drop. <laughs> that is less than good. <laughs> uh, but the glowing light on uh, Yuna's uh, sort of belt pouch of the potions is quite evident. Well, uh, Yuna uh, and Voss, please make me death saves. Woohoo! <laughs> Great. Oh. Very good. Rakath, you notice uh, while all this happens and Yuna drops to the ground and, uh, you know, noticeably seizes up slightly, but everything in the room seems to shift. Uh, gets a little hazy for a brief second. Uh-oh. I am going to... Huh. Noticeably... Because uh, not everyone died in that attack. Uh, you have Hal, who is a cleric. Um, hey! Uh, who is preparing a healing spell uh, while you are. Uh, Does it basically, look... right after your turn. Uh, right. Is, is he. Like, do I know who he's going to be healing? Like, is he approaching someone in particular? I'm assuming it's Big Voss. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I didn't think about it that way, but uh, no, he's actually going to be casting Mass Healing Word. Oh. He's preparing Alrighty, He's preparing the magic in his hand, so he's going to be healing everyone, uh, luckily. Well, sadly, Jareko was in the blast, so he's <laughs> gone. And the people who weren't these guys just disappeared in the blast. They don't fall to the Jareko ground. included? Yeah, just... Well, there goes our... Some of them fall to the ground and then fade away, but they're just gone. All right. Well, yeah, there goes your use, carry. I'm gonna use my cunning action to dash to move that one extra spot close mm -hmm. to him, uh, and I'm going to swing at him with the weapon that I've got. It's Ooh. a hit. That was very rude of you. <laughs> Uh, at this point, how cast mass healing word, which is going to be uh, one Diddy Kong D4. Uh, so it's going to be uh, six healing to you three. All of you are woken up with six health. <sighs> Gets up. And you see and this, this bubble is noticeably smaller now as well. It would only be down there. Mm -hmm. Um, because there's a lot of people are left. So, Torum. Yes. Uh, firstly, as my, uh, bonus section, uh, I'm, uh, oh. You don't no, I, 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 yeah, I am gonna do that. I'm gonna do Ooh, baby. Second, second wind. wind. Very nice. I'm gonna... Reposition myself. Even on uh, the ground, Big Daddy Voss is covered. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> then <in> that case. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh wait, I would have had to have stood up, wouldn't I? Yeah. yeah um, so you need to have half your movement anyway, sorry. so that makes sense. Half your movement. Half. Uh, I probably half. can't move. Uh, I'll move half. there then. <laughs> and I'm going to take two shots with the two light crossbows. Both sharpshooter. Mm -hmm. 
I need you guys alive very Two much so. Two hits. Wait, these why not, didn't that... These were not sharp shooters. Those were shots. not sharp shooters. I didn't shots. hit the right thing. Please re-roll. Yep. This is potentially good or potentially terrible. It's probably... Pro oh, one of them hit. One good. hit. One of them was good. It's always the second one. It's worth it. Yeah, it. exactly. Damage. It was worth it. Uh, as the dragon is kind of clinging to the side of the pillar and weaving around uh, as Rakaf's fighting it, you just managed to get one clean shot to the face. Uh, you know, mo one shot pinks off the armor, one just click, hits it. Click, uh, click. Deep, every time making it flinch out. Uh, and that's my turn. And it's going to attack at Rakash. AC of 17 right now is what Thank you're Thank you. Uh, it doesn't say anything, it doesn't look, it doesn't do anything, it just bites out. And similar to Kato, it, it just does... bites around it. It hits me? Yeah. I'm going to uncanny dodge this to make it Good idea, <laughs> because it did roll a 20. <laughs> so, <laughs> that is a really nice idea. Uh, I just ah. found I just found a wealth of hidden dice. They were I'm behind still my, going to die. They were behind my moisturizer. <laughs> That's what I get for trying to have smooth skin. Smooth skin. I was about I'm to say, oh, the bubble of protection shrunk. I didn't notice that. <laughs> so it would have been 26 damage. Uh, that's oh, halved. 13. There's also some necrotic damage on that bite. Okay. Uh, and I yeeted the dice off the table, and halved <laughs> that would be four damage. Four necrotic? So Yeah. So that was then 30 total? Yeah. So 15. 15. Oh, I already halved the necrotic damage. Oh, the necrotic damage is already have. So four plus the thirteen, 17. Then, so seventeen. Thank you. Yep. Uh, then it is going uh, to uh, use the shove action on you. Please give me an athletics or acrobatics, Rakath. Uh, we're gonna go with acrobatics there. It's a twenty. The dragon tries to push you. Uh, like a launch at you, lunge at you, and you roll deftly out of the way, light and a spry. With uh, such nimble figure, how could he not? Which means it's just going to then, with the last uh, action, just swing at you. But the claw swing strikes only at this pillar beside you instead, making the uh, roof crumble and crack slightly. Um, instead. Okay. It's almost like you can see something beyond, like, the, the crack creaks outwards uh, through the chamber into places that don't make sense for it to sort of crack and, and, and go to. Uh, you can almost see something beyond it. Can I just roll an insight check real quick to see if I understand sure. what's happening? Yeah. You, only Rakath, can see uh, through the crack, real world Rakath, shining lantern light into Yuna's eyes, like from Yuna's eyes. Uh, <laughs> That's you trippy see as hell. <laughs> that very existential <laughs> yeah. thing. He's gonna just stroke his non lumpy face for a moment and look up at the lumps. That's all right, Yuna. <laughs> all right. So, for your item interaction, I'm just gonna drop my, um, uh, with the potions, like, out onto the floor. If I can. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, right moves. there. <laughs> I'm going to bonus action take one, not the souped up one. Makes sense. And what is that? Two... 44 plus 4. Yeah. I'm never gonna remember that. That is one of the things never, that's just digged into my it. DM brain. Ooh, that's not a bad roll. Yeah. That's, like... I think exactly an average roll. It is, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that could be um, worse. That's I'm like stand half up. your HP. Oh, I'm gonna stand up. I'm going to cast haste. Oh yes! On Big Voss. On Voss. Hell yeah, Big Voss. And fifteen. And I'm just gonna move away. With the rest of my movement to try to get out yeah. of that things. It's a good idea. Scatter. It Absolutely. has a breath weapon. Voss. That's 
<laughs> That's what I want to do. <laughs> Big okay. Voss with great speed on the ground. So... I have a question for you. <laughs> when this creature, this dragon, was attacking and doing stuff and whatnot, does it seem to be avoiding the area of the room that's lit up? Absolutely, it's keeping to the corners. So it, it's... It I mean, seems to is... want to move away from Rakath a lot, but uh, Rakath is not letting that happen. Okay, that's exactly what I need to know. So I'm going to stand up. Genuinely very impressive gun show. <laughs> I... If I go, if I go here, I can't because Rakath. You can't be in the same space of Rakath because you know it's. You can shove Rakath to the side if he's willing. If you're willing, I would love to do that. I am willing. I am willing to move. I will move. Okay. One space over. What I would like to do is attempt to grapple the dragon. Yes. Please Big do boss. athletics check. <laughs> so do I get any type of bonus to this because? of my size difference based on what it normally is. No. I'm just doing straight athletics. Okay. Athletics. Oh! Does that roll. You try to grapple the dragon and it just headbutts you with this loud crack. It rings through the air uh, and it does not work. It only counts as one of your attacks. Yeah, I was about to say, I'd like to use my second attack to try to <laughs> grapple it again. I'm just in a wrestling match with this dragon right now, so what's happening? That's what Dream Voss is, a wrestler. I really want Voss to suplex the Is this a contested roll, Ali? Yes! It is, It yeah. rolls a seven. Okay. Seven Galaxy plus Brain plus. math. Voss <laughs> succeeds and does pin <laughs> yeah. the dragon to the, to the wall here. Incredible. So those are my two attacks. So I, my third action. Yeah, I'm hasted right You're now. Hasted. So my third. Fuck yeah. So I, that lets me move more than I normally can too, right? Mm hmm. Yeah. Oh, it's double. That's crazy. So I still okay. And you can I'm push gonna, and pull the dragon while you're grappling it for half. Speed. Dragging it, I can drag it this far. <laughs> and the dragon, <laughs> it's like you're pulling like a bull or something. You've got the horns. You can like yeah. wrap your arms around them, and it's like bling. You seem to notice as well. You pull it into the light. That it's almost like something magical about it fades. Uh, okay. It's sort of the glossy layer around its skin and scales it doesn't seem yeah. to exist in the bright light of the middle of the chamber. Okay. So I've used two of my attacks and all of my movement now. So I will now use my hasted attack. Sorry, I will use my bonus action to use fighting spirit, giving myself some hit points and advantage. And then I will use my haste attack to attack it. Uh, with this one? Which is a that miss, I think. That is a miss. Then I would like to action surge and attack it two more times. <laughs> this guy's going for broke. Oh no. And those These attacks miss. So terribly. Anyways, that's my turn. <laughs> okay, you got the bad rolls out of the way. Struggling, shifting, moving, even though it's being held in place, it's moving very quickly. It's like, yeah, you're holding it. It is spinning you around. Yeah. It is... <laughs> not entirely graceful. It's like trying to hold a cat that wants to be let go. Uh, it is scratching, scrabbling, digging into the ground. Raka. Nikki just tried to eat a plug on the wall. <laughs> Raka's gonna step behind the <laughs> dragon. Of. And, uh, the and tail whipping attacks. around. Uh, so, this is with advantage, eh? That's a natural 20 with sneak attack. Hell yeah it Ooh, is. baby! Hell yeah, brother. In the light, meaning the dragon's strength is waned. So that is, wow, 28 damage. That's actually quite... And that brutal. is a brutally strong attack. You know, if a dragon whines out loudly, uh, its wings flaring open, it's struggling, slowing for a few moments while kicking up again. He's gonna swing with the parrying dagger. Uh, That's a miss. Whiffing terribly. <laughs> you only get one. 
You only Speaking get of, Torm's turn. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, I'm going to move here and pick up one of the potions. Yeah. With my, is that an item interaction? Yeah. Cool. And so it's one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't want to go too far into the darkness, so I'll go seven. Uh, I'm going to bonus action, drink that potion. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so 44 plus 4? Yeah. I'll take it. It's okay. Could be worse. Could be worse. Could be worse. Well, yeah, yeah. Could I just better. want to be able to survive an attack. <laughs> Could be exactly the same. Okay, and then uh, we uh, use my uh, attack action to fire two uh, sharpshooter shots, and actually sharpshooter shots this time at the creature. Ah, rip. And both miss. It's flailing around so much, it's hard to shoot specific points in its body. Do I get advantage because it's grappled? No. Ah, damn it. Worth a shot. <laughs> Worth asking. It does not work that way. Especially yeah, like I, this, I, I didn't think so. This grapple with a raging cat. And you know what? This is a great place to take a little break uh, and continue the battle after a moment of reprieve. As it recharges its weapon. Yeah. I don't know uh -oh. what you're talking about. <laughs> I uh -oh. see your face.